Hey there, project managers and productivity enthusiasts. Welcome back to Engineeringly. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of project management that can make or break your projects, charts. Whether you're new to project management or a seasoned pro, understanding the different types of charts and how to use them effectively is key to keeping your projects on track. Let's start with one of the most popular charts in project management. Gantt charts. Gantt charts are a staple in project management, helping you visualize your project timeline and track progress against deadlines. Imagine being able to see all your tasks laid out over time. Gantt charts do just that, showing task durations, dependencies, and milestones all in one place. Next up is the Work Breakdown Structure, or WBS, which helps you break down your project into manageable tasks. Think of it as your project's blueprint, providing a clear hierarchy of tasks and subtasks to ensure nothing falls through the cracks. Now, let's talk about Critical Path Method, or CPM. This chart is essential for identifying the sequence of crucial tasks that determine your project's timeline. Understanding your critical path is vital because any delay in these tasks could delay your entire project. Another powerful tool is the PERT or PER chart or Program Evaluation Review Technique. If your project involves complex dependencies, PER charts can help you map out these relationships and estimate timeframes more accurately. Parity charts are another valuable tool, especially for identifying the most significant factors in a project. Based on the 80-20 rule, Parity charts help you focus on the 20% of tasks or issues that will produce 80% of the results. This chart is particularly useful in quality management and problem solving, helping you prioritize efforts for maximum impact. Another insightful tool is the Parkinson's Law chart. Parkinson's Law states that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. By visualizing this with a chart, project managers can better understand how time management affects productivity and can implement strategies to prevent projects from dragging on longer than necessary. Next, let's cover flowcharts. These are great for visualizing the steps, sequences, and decisions involved in a project or the process. Flowcharts help in identifying bottlenecks, simplifying complex workflows, and ensuring that all tasks are accounted for. Don't overlook the SWOT analysis charts. While not a timeline tool, this chart is incredibly useful for strategic planning, helping you identify your project's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's an essential tool for assessing your project's position and determining the best course of action. Finally, consider using a burndown chart, especially if you're working in an agile environment. This chart helps you track the amount of work remaining in the project over time, ensuring that you're on track to meet your deadlines. And there you have it, an overview of some of the most essential charts in project management. Mastering these tools will not only make you a better project manager, but also enhance your team's productivity and project outcomes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights into effective project management. See you in the next video.